Hello everyone, this is Chaplain Rhonda Harkins with Daily Declarations to Claim. What a joy to see you. This is for the 28th of Tishra 5783, October 23rd, 2022. I hope you've had a wonderful Shabbat with your family, with your friends, that you've had a chance to relax from your work week and are enjoying just taking some time off and being with the Lord and reading the Word of God. Here is our declaration. Your kingdom come. Your will be done in my life, my family, my city, my nation, as it is in heaven this day. This is a new season, a time to see the keys, to understand the keys and to use them for your purposes to be established in the earth. The key of David brings your divine government, your rule and redemption that brings rest. I hear your voice and open the doors that no man shall shut and close the doors that no man shall open in your mighty name. You know, we are blessed by God to have keys for our life, keys to the kingdom to open and to shut and to allow what is in heaven, what is to be here on earth and what is not to be in heaven what is not to be here on earth to bind and to loose it's one thing to see the keys it's another thing to use them you need to use the keys in prayer that's how the kingdom of God operates and we all need keys don't we you need a key to get into your home you need a key to uh, go somewhere in your car in your vehicle you need a key maybe to get into uh, your office where you work uh, you need a key maybe to get into a special a safety deposit box where you keep your treasures keys are valuable and they're very important for us to have that is why God wants us to know the keys that he's given to us in his word God bless you as you learn about your authority that you have in Christ Jesus to bind and to loose and the key of David to open doors and to shut doors. How do you know what to do? You know it by listening with your heart, the ears of your heart to the Holy Spirit and he will direct you. He'll tell you what needs to be done. He will give you divine strategies for every area of your life. Just listen, go to Him, go to the Word of God, pray with other people, and see what counsel you might receive from someone else. And if it agrees with what the Word says, and what you know in your heart, and what you feel like God is saying, then that will be a confirmation to you and will give you greater confidence as you move forward in prayer with the Lord. God bless you today.